But if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechach with Ash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations. Until the full elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. Now, some of these uh, black Christians, they don't even know that they're really lost, that they really don't understand the scriptures, but sometimes they carry themselves with that arrogance of thinking that, you know, they know the Bible and believe that, you know, that we're the ones that are off and we don't know what we're talking about. And uh, a lot of you, a lot of you so-called black Christians out there, the arrogance does not help you get out of gross darkness that you're in. You know that that dark cloud that that follows you around. You know that stronghold that you can't seem to get out of. That pride and arrogance is not gonna, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not gonna uh, allow you to escape out of that confusion. Because the Lord, He resists of the proud and give of grace unto the humble. You gotta acknowledge that you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Even the Lord said, "Humble yourself as that little child." You know, you got to, you really, you, you Jakes, that's still under that plantation Christianity, you got to humble down. Because y'all don't know these scriptures like that, man. You don't understand the scriptures. So here's another proud Christian. He got a mic in his hand. And it sounds like he's uh, conversing with a guy that knows he's an Israelite. I don't know if he's a part of a camp or not. And he has like an accent. So, you know, I'm not too sure, but. He uh, questions uh, this guy, and I guess this is debunking a Hebrew Israelite, you know, from their perspective. All right, and uh, this is the the, channel, uh, the title of the channel, Ministry of the Word. So, you know, here we go, you know. <laughs> and it seemed like we at the end of this thing, and... We didn't, I mean, we didn't brought so much uh, to light when it comes to the understanding on these scriptures, on the prophecies, and you still got these <laughs> plantation Christian Israelites, all right, that's still pushing this madness, man. Like, I don't know, it's 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 a it's a complete spell, a complete demon. You know, that engulfs our people. And if they don't uh, recover themselves out of that, you know, they're, they're going to be had, man. So anyway, um, let me start this video off. I'm not going to, uh, you know, do the whole video, but I'm just responding to some of the things said. All right. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, we get an understanding. So without further ado. It's about the relationship between God and the Israelites. The whole book of the Bible is the relationship between God and the Israelites. So who are the Gentiles? The whole book. Who are the Gentiles? There are Hellenized Gentiles and there are and there are Israelites who are called Gentiles because they weren't allowed to call themselves Jews or they'd be sanctioned under death. So there's two types of Gentiles? Yes indeed. So then why, so, so when the Bible says that Jesus Christ came, he's the savior of the Gentiles, when the Bible says that, who's he talking about? Israelites, obviously. So there, there's, there's Gentiles that are Israelites. So how can we tell the difference? What's between, between an Israelite and a Gentile? Uh, you have to be of the seed of Isaac. The seed of Isaac? Yeah. That's what makes you an Israel. Jake, you have to be of the seed of Jacob. The, 12, the seed of Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. The seed of Jacob, and that's how you become an Israelite. You don't become an Israelite. It's a bloodline. Okay, what about the Jews? What about the Bible when the Bible says that there's Jews? Um, it's not Jew outwardly, but Jews inwardly. Circumcision of the heart. What about that? You can't be a Jew. And 
You see, this is where these Christians, they like to stay in the writings of Paul because none of them understand the writings of Paul. They really believe that Paul was sent to Edomites and, and, and uh, Moabites and Ishmaelites and Elamites. He was not sent to strange nations. He was sent to Israelites that were scattered throughout Asia Minor. And during that scattering, where they lived in these other uh, lands, what did they do? They learned the practice of the other nations and became like the Gentiles. So they were being referred to as Gentiles by those that were of the circumcision that knew that they were Israelites. I mean, come on, man. This is, uh, you know, Bible basics. John 7 and 35 and it reads, then said the Jews among themselves, whither will they go that we shall not find him? Will he go into the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? You know, why would they say that? Because they understood that you had Israelites who were of the bloodline, but a lot of the circumcision dismissed them because, you know, they were uh, speaking the language of the heathen, which was Greek at the time. They were keeping Greek customs. So they just called them straight straight up Gentiles. So yes, there are two uh, types of Gentiles. All right? So you're going to go to the dispersed among the, the actual Gentiles and teach the, the Israelite foreigners that are among them? Because the, law, the, the, uh, the curse said that he would disperse the people. He would scatter them. From one, he was scattered them among the uh, the people from one end of the earth even to the other. That, that, is that not written? So when you look up uh, Gentile in this uh, verse, it's actually uh, Helen. All right, which basically is a, a a Greek. It says a Greek either by nationality, whether or native, of the mainland or of the Greek islands. Or colonies. All right. So if you lived in, uh, you know, those uh, Greek, uh, Greco colonies, you know, especially like uh, Europe, uh, all throughout Europe, and Asia Minor, that's that, that's that's all Greek up there. So you more than likely spoke the language of Greek. All right. You ate a Greek diet. You was worshiping a Greek god, and it doesn't matter what nationality you was. If you lived in those areas, you lived like a Greek. Just like here in Babylon, here in America. Um, it don't matter if you so-called Caucasian, so-called white man, which is in his, his biblical nationality is Edomite, or if you are a, a Jake, an Israelite, if you are a, a, a so-called Chinese or Korean, if you are, a, you know, whatever you may be, if you lived in America long enough, you more you speak that language, you speak English. All right, you 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 eat hot dogs and and burgers. That that's American. You watch the sports, the entertainment. That's all American. All right, those are all the different customs of America. All right, and those people they'll identify as American or uh, I'm Chinese American, I'm white American, I'm this American. So that's what it was back in the in in the uh, the world of of, of Greece. Everybody identified as a Greek because they were the dominant uh, nation. Okay, and the original Greeks going back to Yovan, uh, all right, which was one of the sons of uh, Japheth. Esau he took over that land over the years. The real, the the original Greeks, the real Greeks are descendants of Japheth. All right, and they were long uh, pushed out by the time of the Greco. Roman Empire. So it was the Edomites who took over, starting with uh, Alexander, or even before him. But that's when they became very dominant, when they had these wars and was uh, conquering other lands. Okay? And then you had the, uh, the Seleucid dynasty and the Ptolemaic dynasty. That was when the Greeks was uh, expanding in power. Okay? 
uh, two, it says in a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. You see that? The primary re reference is to the di to a difference of religion and worship. So our people, they fell out of uh, the way of, of, of their heritage. All right. They didn't know how to worship uh, the Most High. Wherever they at, they would worship in Zeus or wherever else, because they didn't. They forgot their heritage. They discontinued from it. And then you read the Maccabees; it gives you the history. How did they forget? Because it was beat out of them. They were threatened by uh, the Seleucid dynasty that they were not uh, able to keep the customs of the Jews. They couldn't worship on the Sabbath day. They couldn't circumcise themselves. So that's how they became those uh, Gentiles. And we can't forget this because it, 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 they mentioned dispersed. What people were dispersed? Diaspora. And it says dispersion, i.e. especially concretely the converted Israelite resident in Gentile countries. A scattering dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. It's talking about Israelites. So they're being referred to, them scattered Israelites were being referred to as Gentiles or, or Greeks. So this is how you understand why it says there's no difference between a Jew nor a Greek, because they all are Israelites. And then he mentioned what's the difference if, because he, he he talked about uh, there being a Jew inwardly versus one outwardly. And, you know, so what is the difference? You know, and uh, being circumcised, right? Well, when you go back to even in the law, the Lord told us to uh, be circumcised at the heart. He, he told that to the nation of Israel. So does could, could this does this prove that uh, Israelites can be uncircumcised at the heart? Yes. Uh, Deuteronomy 10 and where is it at? Yeah, Deuteronomy 10. And uh, I'll start at 14. It says, Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's thy power and the earth also with all that is therein. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. And he chose their seed after them. And he's talking about the patriarchs, uh, starting with Abraham, then, then down to Isaac and down to Jacob. He chose that seed, right? Even you above all people as it is this day. And it still is that to this day it didn't change paul didn't come and re rewrite the law and the and the prophets he agreed to everything in the law and the prophets he taught out of the law and the prophets but they try to put paul <laughs> like as if he contradicts uh the law and the prophets circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff-necked there you go so Israelites can be uncircumcised in the heart. So when you break the law and you start uh, behaving like the heathen, then that's when you become uncircumcised. You start worshiping these other gods, you become un uncircumcised. You, you commit fornication, you, you eat meat with blood in it, you're doing unholy things, that's when you become uncircumcised in the heart. All right, and there's other uh, scriptures on this. Deuteronomy 30 and 6, it says, And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart in the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all, and that thou mayest live. Okay. Leviticus 26, 41. And that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought, and this is talking about uh, Israel rep, uh, repenting. They acknowledge their uh, their punishment, confessing their offenses, knowing that, you know, they sinned against the Most High. The Lord said that, you know, when he walked contrary to them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they then accept the punishment of their iniquity, you know, then it goes into, let me let me go there. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember and I will remember 
the land. See? So he asked that question. These were the, these are the precepts I would have went to. Okay? Yeah, the uncircumcised is talking about Israelites, all right, who were walking in the ways of the other nations. Because, you know, the Israelites, they have a way of conduct. All right? We have our set of customs, our laws that we live by. All right? Jeremiah 4 and 4. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart, you men of Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Okay? So our hearts got to be uh, cleansed. And how is it cleansed? By the word of, of the Most High, the baptism, all right, which our people had to go through. They had to be baptized to be washed of their sins. And, and you know, we take heed by the word. That's what washes us. So uh, that's why Paul said here in Romans 2, for he that he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Because you had uh, the ones that the, the, the wicked Israelites that knew that they were Israelites, but even they were breaking the law. So it didn't matter whether it didn't matter that they were uh, physically circumcised and had the, uh, you know, their phylacteries and uh, the, the broadening of their uh, the borders of their garments. They were still being hypocrites and breaking the law. And like he said up above, Rev, uh, Romans uh, 2 and 25, for circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the, the law, meaning the whole law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. You know, so when the Israelites, when we deviate from the commandment, you become uncircumcised. So therefore you become what? A Gentile. Therefore, if his uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Okay? So this is what he mean, all right? It says, neither is that circumcision which is outward of in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. And this still applies to the, the, the children of Israel. This letter was uh, sent to uh, Israelites. All you got to do is read the first chapter. Read the first chapter of each uh, epistle. He's greeting them and calling them saints. And who are the saints uh, uh, of the Bible? The children of Israel. Psalms 148, 14, Psalms 50 and 5. That tells you who the saints are. Okay? So... You know, this guy right here, you know, he, he's, he's proud for nothing because he's showing that he doesn't understand the history that coincides with the scriptures. He, he, I'm pretty sure he haven't read the book of Maccabees, how that uh, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, he made them so uh, foreskin back on their, on their rods to make themselves uncircumcised. He, he forced them to do that. So, of course, uh, generations later, centuries later, Israelites growing up in that fashion, they remained uncircumcised. The ones who refused to uh, uh, die, you know, to for, for the principle of the law. Because you had martyrs that died because they was not about to, uh, you know, break the Lord's commands. He doesn't understand that. But hey, like the scriptures say, if if if, if uh, our gospel be hid, is hid to them that are lost, because the God of this world blinded them. All right, Esau messed messed his head up. By you, you can't be a Jew unless you're from the tribe, the twelve tribes. Matter of fact, let me go here real quick. So he he and they're gonna stay in Paul. That's what Christians do. Well, let's go to First Corinthians twelve. See a Gentile, a natural Gentile, they 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 can't um, become a Gentile because they already are a Gentile. All right, an Israelite is an Israelite, but they can become a Gentile because of their practices. First Corinthians twelve and one it says, "Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as you were led." 
So he, he said in past tense, ba basically in the past, before you got converted, you were Gentiles because you were led away by those dumb idols, which going back to the law, it said that when we would be scattered uh, uh, among all people from one end of the earth, even to the other, it said that you will serve both wood and stone. You will serve basically gods that your fathers uh, would not know. So when they did that, they became like the Gentiles. So he's reminding them that, hey, y'all were Gentiles. You were, as long as y'all were worshiping these dead idols and were ignorant of your true uh, power, the high, the, the most high, you were, you were, you were Gentiles. All right. So an uh, Israelite can uh, convert from a Gentile to an Israelite, but a Gentile cannot leave off from being a Gentile. And becoming an Israelite. That doesn't uh, work that way. Okay. It just is it's not going to happen. And the word convert literally means to return. If you didn't know. Who are you with? The Israel, I mean the, the other nations. They can't return to something that they ain't uh, been a part of. You know. The Lord uh, divided the, the, the heavens. And gave the nations, uh, they, they were, that's what they worship. They worship the sun, the moon, the stars, the constellations, the, the birds, the fowls of the air, the fish. Of the, they, they worship that. But the Most High said that, no, you're going to worship me. Why you think he told that Samaritan woman, you don't know what you worship? Because she was a heathen in the land, but you had heathens that, came up in the customs because the northern kingdom got pushed out of Samaria centuries before that and uh, uh, Shalom and Nassar he imported na uh, uh, heathen nations from different uh, lands and brought them into the land and they had to uh, be taught by the priests to keep the customs of the land so that they wouldn't get um, uh, plagued because the Lord was sending uh, judgments on them so they grew up for centuries in the land and so you had heathens in our land that knew the custom that spoke the hebrew and all that that samaritan woman was an example of that but the lord even told her she don't know what she worshiping for salvation is of the jews so let's play a little bit more and then we'll close out of israel i just told you that okay. levi benjamin Right? Yeah. Um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the rest are Israelites, but it's used synonymously with, um, you can, Jew is used synonymously with the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. So Jew is used synonymously with the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Yeah. And there's, and there's, it's all, there are 12 gates, and written on the 12 gates, the name of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? Yeah. Now, um, go to Amos chapter 1, verse 3. Okay, I don't go to there, but let me ask you this first. In Galatians 3, 7, it says this. Know ye therefore that that which are of faith are the same are the children of Israel. So, the Galatians 3 says that everyone who has faith in Jesus Christ are the same as the children of Israel. How do you answer that? And that's not what that said. You see, you see that, right? There... They're, they're, it's like the serpent taught them how to be serpents because that they, they they put words or rearrange the words of Paul as if he's going against the grain. He didn't go against the grain, neither did Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High. The Messiah didn't go against the grain. All right. Galatians 3, which is another epistle Paul wrote to the, the church of Israelites that were in Galatia. Another uh, uh, Greek uh, province. All right. Galatians uh, 3. And he's cussing them out pretty much because you had uh, some of uh, uh, the, the, the teachings from uh, those of the circumcision that was creeping into the church, teaching them that, you know, basically your righteousness is of the law. The work of the law. You know, you got to be circumcised and you got to keep all the law if you want to be saved. So he's telling them, who who the hell bewitched y'all? Right? 
So let's jump down. This is uh, Galatians 3 and uh, 5. It says, He therefore that ministered to you the spirit and work of miracles among you, do if he it by the works of the law or by the work or, or by the hearing of faith. Even as Abraham believed the Mosiah and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Go to Hebrews 11 chapter and you read all those works of faith. They were done by who? Majority of them were all uh, Israelites. Okay, it mentions the, the faith of Moses, the faith of Noah, the faith of Enoch, which was a son of God. Okay, the faith of David. All, all, all those uh, works of faith conducted by the, the, the people of the Most High. It says, know, for, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Yeah. And that's still talk, that's talking about the children of Israel. Okay. Those that are faithful among his people are the children of Abraham because he because even John told those uh, unbelieving uh, uh, Jews that came among them, uh, you know, who, who, who have warned you. You know, he called them. Uh, I think he called them uh, vipers or snakes or something like that. But he said, who have warned you, you know? And then uh, I don't know if it was either him or the Lord that said he could raise up the stones into the children of Abraham. Don't think because you have Abraham as your father that you're children. Because they, they, they were unbelievers. But then you had the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, you know, that fell away. But all, all they did was hear the, the, the word. They just heard the gospel and they and, and that alone, you know, sealed their 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 faith because they believed. That's more that's accounted more for righteousness than trying to keep uh the letter of the law. Because none of them were keeping the letter of the law. So you're more so of the children of Abraham if you actually believe this this message and and, and walk accordingly and, and, and share that message. It says in the scripture, foreseeing that the Mosai would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. And we know this is talking about uh, Israelites, because at one point they were, which I proved in this lesson, that they were going to be seen as heathen because they were scattered among the nations, uh, being led away of idols. But the moment that they believed and, and converted, Hey, that was all that was needed because the blood of Yahweh Shai is who brought them together. He he, he cut down uh, the middle wall partition between the circumcision and the uh, the uncircumcision. All right, the Jews that were of the circumcision and the Israelites that were uncircumcised. There's no difference between the two under uh, the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai. So the, the, the Israelite foreigners would be justified through faith. And that's in the law. The just shall live by faith. All right. And that was from uh, Habakkuk. And he was prophesying to none only but Israel. All right. And the, the seed that will be blessed is talking about Israel. Let's prove that now. And then we're going to close. I'm going to make this short, man. Let's go to Isaiah 61. <clears throat> and this is in the kingdom, right? And it's 61, the first couple of verses, is, 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 this is the gospel right here. The Lord actually uh, read this in a synagogue. Uh, Isaiah 61. In verse, uh, verse 8. It says, uh, I start at seven. Says, for your shame, you shall have double, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the, the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And that's talking about Israel. He made all all the covenants were made with Israel. Read Romans uh, nine, uh, 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 verse uh, five, four, five, six. 
I read all read read all those verses in Romans 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. All right, because they were scattered among the Gentiles, correct? So there that seed, the seed of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their offspring among the people, all that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the blessed. It's like yeah, they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Simple and plain. Let's go to uh, Romans 9. Romans 9 and 4. Romans 9 and 3, it says, For I wish that myself were cursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant. So all the covenants he made with, with Israel and the giving of the law, it was only given to Israel, and the service of the, of the Mosai, the worship, how to worship him, you know, through the uh, the priesthood, which now is under uh, Melchizedek and not under the old order of uh, uh, Aaron. It says, and the promises, because he made the promise to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not to all these other nations. Whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, who was over all the Mosai blessed forever, Amun. Not as though the word of the Mosai have taken none effect, for they all... For they are all not Israel, which are of Israel. Neither because are they the seed of Abraham, are they all children. He didn't bring this up. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High. But the children of the promise are accounted for the seed. So and that's going back to uh, 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 Ishmael and, and, and Isaac. One of them was the son of the bondman. The other one was the son of the uh, the free woman. Sarah was the free woman. She had Isaac. Hagar was the, the, the bond woman. She had Ishmael. So the promise went to the seed that came from the free woman, Sarah. And then he reiterates it in the book of Galatians. <laughs> Galatians uh, 4. <clears throat> yeah, Galatians 4 and uh, 22. It says, For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise, which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar, Hagar, for this Agar is a, a, a Mount Sinai in Arabia. That's why you got the towel heads. They, they worship in, in Saudi Arabia and they worship a whole nother God in answer to Jerusalem, which now is, you know, so they, you know, that's the reason why they're trying to fight with the small hats over the land, even though that don't belong to them. It says in is in bondage with their, with her children, but Jerusalem, which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice thou barren that bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that travelest not, for the desolate have many more children than she which have an husband. Now we, brethren, now this is Paul talking to that same this same church. You quote out of Galatians three. This is to the this is all to the same church. So why is he calling them brethren? And then said, As Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him, that was born after the spirit, even so it is now. So he's basically admitting that the children of uh, the, the free woman, they were the ones that were given the promise. So we know that all these nations were not born of, uh, they didn't come out of uh, 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 Sarah. Okay. So they're, they're not uh, promised. These other nations are not promised. So, you know, you would have to, uh, based on knowing this, you would have to conclude that Paul was, even though he was using words like heathen and Gentile, he was still talking about his own people, Israelites. Because it wouldn't make sense if he's talking about these other nations getting up in there. When all, but when all this information only pertains to one group of people, it doesn't make sense. So y'all would have to admit that you are wrong and you don't understand the writings of Paul. 
Let me get this one real quick. Isaiah 41 and verse 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. That's the seed of Abraham. Okay? So the heathen that would be justified through faith are the children of Israel, all right, who were in a Gentile state of mind, who were like the heathen, but once they uh, heard the gospel, they believed and were converted. All right, they repented. So they're justified. So anyway, I'm going to end with that, man. I'm not going to make this uh, long. If brothers want to hop on and, uh, you know, uh, uh, chop this video down, chop this dude down, feel free. So with that, I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Bashmiyah Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.